Hey Janet, this is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with Eric. And as promised, here's your website analysis. We'll be going over some few things that can actually help you rank higher, bring you more traffic, and of course, get you more customers. So let's go ahead and start off with your website. You actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo here, call to action. You have good photos, nice layout, and good amount of contents as well. So there's actually just a few things wherein we're going to get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. All right, so currently you have 915 words, which is not a bad number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1500 for us to actually be considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing I would like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I actually did a quick search of the exterior renovation in one of the area, areas you're servicing. And we'll talk more about the services or the results that we have here. Starting off with the first one, this is what we call the map hack. This is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and are easier to find. One way for you to be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also if you add those same information in as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, and G.com, that will also help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, so these are, these are what we call the organic searches. These are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. That's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze, so I actually pulled up one of the top ranking website and let's see what they have differently. Looking at their website, they also have a pretty good looking website. They have their logo here, phone number, they also have good photos and good amount of contents as well. So let's go ahead and dig deeper with the numbers instead. We have here Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll be talking more about the numbers, so let's start off with DR. So this is the level of trust that Google has in your website, and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, these are other website that refers to your website, so they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and alike. I also have your competitor's website pulled up here. We'll be comparing the numbers and we'll actually see what they have differently. Starting off with DR and UR, it actually shows that you have way more numbers, which means that Google finds your website a much more trustworthy website and also a stronger website. However, their edge seems to be with the backlinks and keywords, which actually, which actually resulted to more traffic. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk more about backlinks and keywords, and let's discuss the importance of this too. Starting off with backlinks, or what we call the referring domains. So as you can see, these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're currently ranking higher in the searches. Next are the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are all the hits or clicks that they're getting with the help of each keyword. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. Another thing I would like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So let's go ahead and use this photo as an example. So if we save this photo and instead of naming it with a generic file name, well, you can actually rename it with a hidden keyword. You can do the same thing with the other photos you have on your website. That way you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into it. 
and of course for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can definitely do to improve your ranking is first the amount of content when we're going to add more words to your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website and also a stronger website. Next are the backlinks when we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way we can actually bring you more traffic and of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing at the top of the map hack searches as well. Last but not the least are the keywords wherein we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course choosing the right ones. That way, more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. So that's all that I have for now. If you have any further questions, feel free to call us or email us back so that we can tell you the next steps and the other things that we can do. Thank you so much for your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.